Hello and welcome to 1995Batman.com. Today we are looking at the Bruce Wayne Batman figure from Kenner. Um, so obviously this is him in the Batman um, outfit first, a kind of blue and kind of black and red uh, kind of outfit. Not entirely like anything he had in the film, but you know, it's, it's a decent uh, look. So around the back, we'll just turn him around. He's got these two kind of like wing things which basically these bits can pop off so he's got bits on his arms armor can pop off and then you can take these off his back stick them on his arms and now he's some sort of like crab batman i guess um yeah looking uh, super deadly there with some very sharp uh kind of knife things um, to go even further, let's take these off and take off the legs. It just all clips on. Oh, it's a little tough. And this side. And then finally, we retract the head. Obviously, with the head on, you've only got the arms and legs that you can move. And obviously, it's got this weird kind of. Um, almost like a G-string kind of thing, so that when he sits down, his legs can sit like that. Uh, and then we pop him off, and underneath is Val Kilmer. Uh, it's a decent uh, Val Kilmer face. I mean, they, I think kind of really got the, the jaw, the kind of head and the hair don't really look that great. Uh, and the outfit, he's got like a black turtleneck with some kind of like red long sleeve shirt underneath and he's wearing kind of like biker gloves and kind of grey kind of tracksuit trousers I guess and uh, boots um, yeah didn't wear anything like this in the film but you know it's okay I guess let's go around the back so his head actually retracts like a turtle that's how you get the fake head on uh, I'm gonna show you some of the other uh, the other figures that Kenner did that were similar to this obviously they did one for Batman Returns and they did one for Batman and Robin and they also did one for The Shadow which is very similar it came out in 94 so it's kind of like in between Batman Returns Batman Forever very very similar to this so that's the Batman Forever one but then we go back to 1992 and we introduce the uh, Michael Keaton Batman uh, which was a very different thing did not have a retractable head had a kind of hood thing that you could pull off uh, had really oversized gloves and boots that just sort of like wrapped around um, and then kind of a chest piece that just sort of like clipped on and had this weird sort of uh, yeah kind of tracksuit I guess underneath it takes a little bit of effort he's got a weird um, like the batarang actually just stuck in one of his gloves that's kind of how it was how it was done kind of weird so you couldn't like throw it or anything. Um, and it's a decent Michael Keaton. I mean, it's a little kind of squinty. It's not great, but that's the uh, Batman Returns. Next, we've got the the Kenner shadow figure, which is humongous compared to the other ones. Again, this is when they started using the retractable head. So his head pops up there. Again, he's wearing kind of oversized gloves that go over kind of half the hand and take all those bits off and then uh, just to complete the look he's got a kind of you know coattail thing so that's the shadow slightly uh, larger scale and then finally let's just move all this out of the way we've got the Batman and Robin one which again I I don't think is as good as the Batman Forever one it uses the same kind of principles, so the, the reason it's higher is it's got these uh, uh, ice skates on the uh, leg pieces, which kind of fits in with the opening part of the film. Um, he's got a kind of uh, missile thing kind of attached to his arm, to his uh, left arm, that just kind of pings out like that, straight at the camera. Um, uh, again, a nice uh, knife. I don't know why Ken always used to put knives on all its Batman figures, but whatever. Take that bit off. 
and then the head this is what i didn't really like this head you can't move it's just stationary whereas this head you could but it moves the whole cape with it so it looks kind of weird but again we pull this up and off and we get a uh, yeah not a particularly great george cleanly again kind of has the same kind of weird kind of bouffant hair that they gave the val kilmer one neither of them really had hair like that um especially george cleanly george cleanly is really short but hey ho um so yeah that is the batman forever bruce wayne figure um it is one of my favorites uh, i used to play with this a lot i love these kind of figures where you can kind of take off and put on kind of armor and stuff um so yeah the bruce wayne figure definitely get it um it's hard to get with all the pieces nowadays this little piece is just like a decal on the front all really really often get scratched um a lot of the face um of the val kilmer underneath uh, often has a lot of paint damage just because of putting this up and down and on and off uh, it kind of scratches off the paint but yeah so that's the uh that's the bruce wayne batman figure from batman forever